You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP DNS. In this section, I'm going to give some F5 DNS I rule examples, which allows you to inspect incoming DNS queries and change the response based on the query type or content. This figure tries to show you the concept of F5 DNS I rule with a practical example. An F5 DNS I rule allows you to control and direct incoming DNS traffic based on a specific conditions. It typically consists of three main sections. Event, this specifies when the I rule should be triggered, such as on a DNS query or DNS response, message is matched. The condition, the I rule evaluates certain conditions, which could be based on client IP address, the type of DNS resource record or the name of DNS resource record. They are the main conditions that we use in iRule. And action, depending on the conditions, the iRule can alter the default behavior of DNS traffic. Actions can include discarding DNS packet, resolving a request to a specific A record, or changing the pool that handles the request. In this iRule example, the when DNS request event is triggered on incoming DNS request packets. The conditions check whether DNS resource record name contains the keyword RICA. If the condition is met, DNS request is resolved to a specific IP address 1234. Just to remember, this is the latest topology that we have configured in the previous section. We have configured a wide IP name www.royco-code.com with the type of A record that has a single pool with the name of GSLB underline pool 1 with two LTM virtual servers with the IP address 2.211 and 2.212. If we check the configuration in the section GSLB and wide IP, we see a wide IP name with the type of A record and the default load balancing algorithm is round robin. Round robin as a default load balancing algorithm. Therefore, querying the name www.roiko-code.com is expected to return one of these two IP addresses to 200 11 or 2212 just to check ns lookup the ip address of listener in the delivery and dns listener is 2213 servers 192 168 2213 and the name www.raika-code.com According to the algorithm, sometimes it returns to 211 and sometimes to 212. And it is exactly as we expect. In the continue, we will use iRule to change the DNS behavior for a specific DNS queries. In the first example, we write an iRule to ignore DNS requests if they come from an IP address that starts with 192 which is the IP address of my computer also client IP address is detected using IP client address condition command and when we will use discard command action to ignore the request first we write the code in the section GSLB I rules and then we create and add the I rule code with the name of ignoring a request and then finish and in the next step we will assign the I rule to wide IP in the section wide IP and tap I rule and then manage and ignore a request and then finish and we can check again the DNS query sending to the listener to make sure of the result as we expect, we receive no reply since the DNS query is discarded. 
In the second example, we modify DNS response to return a specific IP address if the DNS query contains the name Raika. The requested name in DNS query is detected using DNS resource record name conditional command. We use contains operator to find a keyword in the query name and then we will use hos action command which is used to return a specific IP address in response to the request. Again, we create a new I rule in the section GSLB I rule create and the name resolving a request to a specific A record and then finish and we will change I rule in wide IP manage and remove the previous I rule and we check again the query and the response as you can see the response DNS response is resolved with the host IP address 1 2 3 4 in the third example if the DNS query that sends the client IP address is started with a specific number the DNS response will come from a specific pool otherwise it will resolve to a specific IP address at the moment my IP address is started with 192 so it's expected that it is resolved using DSLB underline pool 1 which is the default and normal behavior and then we can change the condition to make sure if it is not match the client IP address then will be resolved with a specific IP address what is new in this example is the use of the action command pool to resolve the DNS query from a specific pool let's copy the code the I rule code in the section I rules and create with the name of choosing a pool based on request IP address range and then finish and again the section wide IP we change the I rule this is the new and remove the old one and finish and we will receive the default response 211 and 212 as you can see but if we change the I rule in a way that the IP address is for example 172 and check again it's expected that the response 1234 is returned as you expect a host IP address is returned in DNS response the final example discard an unsupported 4a record which is used for IP version 6 it uses DNS resource record type to detect the request type and then if it is matched with 4a record the response will be discarded that means the query will be discarded let's uh, set the type to 4a record and then check www.raika-code.com still we didn't copy the i rules in the section i rule we create a new i rule commands with the name responding with no answer for unsupported request finish and then we change i rule in wide ip i rules and manage and we change unsupported request and remove the old one and we check again 